Hi everybody, welcome back. <coughs> thank you for all the messages and everything from last week. Uh, my hand is much better now, thank you. Plaster's on there, but just that's just to stop me knocking it. Okay, back to the project. So I need to just take this flat spot off and just shape up this end a little bit and then uh, we'll be ready to mark out for the offset turning. Okay, so the general idea is to mark out like this. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to put a link to the PDF of this uh, in the description down below. So we need to make, mark out three points at 60 degrees from each other. Now the easiest way I've found to do this is to mark the bottom on one side. So draw a straight line on the piece on the piece of paper. This is the easiest way I found to mark out accurately the bottom. Line up the mark on the wood with the line on the paper, like this, and then draw your line on this side, on line on the cardboard that side, and then you know that they're both exactly in the same place. So here we are, so it's 120 degrees isn't it, not what I said a minute ago, whatever that was. I'm just going to draw a line from the centre to the middle and then we can mark out using the correct side of the protractor which is the this side of this marker, of this uh, gauge and transfer it onto the bottom and then we can do the same again transfer it onto the bottom right and we need to number them so one two one two three using the line on the paper we can mark the other end for both pieces, uh, both marks, transfer it to this end which means we don't have to guess or try and mark it out in any other way. So if we'd have made the mistake in marking at least they'll be in the same place on both ends because of the line in, on the uh, cardboard. I'm just going to draw the lines to the middle because I didn't do that. We're going to need to know. Now what we need to do is to work out now how far how far out marks going to be. Now when we do this we need to bear in mind that the headstock for spur in my case is going to need something to grab hold of at quite an angle. So this is where the spiral comes in where we mount tailstock to headstock on uh, opposite numbers and you'll see the order on the sheet. And the, the distance from the centre to the outside of the piece We'll do, which in this case is about here because that's the diameter of the piece in the middle of the sacrificial wood. The distance between there and there will determine how spiralled or how, how acute the spiral is or how much spiral you can see. If you have it right out here you'll get quite a significant cut in the spiral and closer to the middle you'll get less of a spiral. But a spiral nevertheless. It's kind of guesswork really, I think, at the moment. I'm going to say 20 millimetres from the middle. Now it's a case of using the sheet and going, in this case, one to three. So we're going to one. 
So one to three. Lock it down hard and make sure the teeth on the headstock are biting in. One trick I saw, or well, that he shows you in the pamphlet, if you take a sturdy pencil, I think he calls it, and go like that, it allows you to test the twist. Can you see that? Got a nifty idea. So that's the uh, first, this is the first axis. So I'm gonna mark on my tool rest, my leftmost edge. So then I know when I'm coming this way, where to stop, otherwise they're not gonna match. Okay, so let's give this a go. Now, always wear a face mask with this because if this flies off, it's gonna take your teeth out. Now, these turns have gotta be done in the right order, really. Well, they don't have to be, I suppose, but it's useful to do them in the right order just to have a bit of continuity. So now I'm going to switch it to the next set of offset marks, which is number two to number one. When you're doing this, it's a really good idea to, the, the wood you choose for your ends, make it really soft if you can. You're never going to get a good uh, finish probably on this, cutting so much air. So there's going to be a bit of manual sanding anyway, and the roughing gouge is nice and sharp and it just gives me a bit more control. Working out how far you've come is not actually that bad. I don't know if you can see here how far I'm coming up the waste block. There's one cut, that's the current one. I'm not quite enough, but you can kind of see I'm not quite enough. So if I try to make it so I come all the way up to this edge, then I should have a good chance of getting it to be the same. And then when I do that side, it should end up the same way as well. Right, that's all three cuts. <clears throat> what I'm probably going to do is, probably when I put it in the chuck, is part it off somewhere around this sort of size, because it's getting a bit narrow up here. Okay, we're back in the chuck. I'm going to part this off, I reckon about there-ish. Where's my marks? Yeah, I reckon about there. Right, so I'm going to uh, do a bit of manual sanding now for a minute and then we'll see if we can hollow it out. So I'm going to bring you back after I've done that. Okay, so I've managed to sand it down really quite nicely. I'll show you that properly after we've hollowed it out.
All right, it's hollowed out. I'm just going to clean up the inside a little bit and then it'll be time to put on some finish. Well, I don't think it needs any more sanding on that side. It's like glass here. It's really hard to get it any better than that here because as you can see by the pores, this is all end grain. And uh, this stuff's just brutally hard. So I'm gonna put some sanding sealer on it and hope for the best. Purple heart, remember? I think I've said that already. I'm going to have to do some of this manually, but I'm not going to worry too much about the inside. It's, yeah, it's a box, isn't it? It's not really a bowl. Maybe it could do with a lid, um, but I think it's all right as it is. Let me know what you think. I'm going to go for Woodwax 22, I think. Oh, I wish the weather would warm up. It's still only about 10 degrees C here, which is ropey. It was warm the other day, but it's blooming in now. Get some friction. That looks pretty cool. Right, I'm going to uh, let's part this off. I got it. <laughs> Gluey bit gave way on the middle. I wasn't expecting that to happen, but there we go. <laughs> right, I'm going to clean the bottom up a minute. There you go, everybody. I think it's definitely a box without a lid or maybe a little vase. It's not a bowl. I don't know what it is, but it's quite pretty. So purple heart uh, with a half twist and a three axis twist. You can see it worked quite well on the end. And that's a nice little thing. It wasn't very easy to do. I need lots more practice and I hope you found it interesting. If you have, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I'm doing a video a week and I aim to show you my journey on learning wood turning and all other things to do with it. So take care. See you next time.